there is a person, or was a person, I guess, that I would message quite often, almost every day. And him and I would speak to each other, not speak, but contact each other quite often. And we pretty much would share things about God and personal things and stuff like that. So this guy, I believe on Facebook, he would share information about God to other people as well. And I believe one day he contacted me, I guess about an incident about someone or some people that are disagreeable with him. And I believe, I forget, but I believe, I can be wrong about this, but I believe he would debate with people. And he was telling me about this. And I believe that there were other incidents where like he wanted to debate with others and pretty much trying to convince me to debate with others as well. Let me say this. We are not called to debate with other people. We are here to tell what the Bible says. And if a person is not willing to hear you out or accept what you are saying, hey, what is the point in saying anything else? If you see that a person has their mind made up, what is the point in saying anything? There is another person. If this person disagrees with what I am saying, there is nothing I can say more <laughs> to persuade this person that he may be wrong. He is not willing to even open his mind toward it. Myself, I give people the benefit of the doubt. Perhaps I am wrong in some places and I have been corrected by people as well that I was wrong and I have no problem with saying sorry I have no problem with repenting I don't but the issue is is when someone is trying to correct you and they are wrong and you can tell that they are not willing to receive any more of what you have to say to them have you ever met people where they can point out things that they believe are wrong in you whether it is true or not. And if you are willing to say, hey, I don't think so, or you may be wrong, they are not willing to hear you out, or they are not willing to take in what you have to say. And I find that very weird 
you want me to be open toward what you are saying, but you don't want to be open to what I am saying. There was this other person and me and this other person would talk about God for hours, man, for hours. And some time have passed, but even when this person would disagree with me, or if I disagreed with that person, everything was cool, you know? We pretty much were both open to hear each other out. But I find, unless I am thinking wrong, unless I am dead wrong, but when I speak to this person now, and when we disagree with each other, you know, people can act fake, but sometimes you can't hide your mannerisms, I guess you can say. Your, what word is that? Your body language, I guess you can say. And I am thinking, I'm like, me and you used to talk so much for hours about God. Like easily spend two, three hours talking about God often. But now, it's like, I don't know, everything is shut off. Even when we would, you know, let's say if I disagreed with her or she disagreed with me, everything is straight, you know? Everything is fine, but now things have changed. What is your point, Kevin? Okay. Give me time, please, 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 please. And this ties in with the debating thing and with everything else I have said. For one, you have to be willing to hear people out. Even if they are dead wrong, you have to be willing to give people a chance, even if it is a tiny chance, because there is a possibility that you can be wrong. You never want to get to a place where you are shutting everyone off when you believe that what you are saying or thinking is right, you have to be willing to hear people up out and judge what they say with what the Bible say. You have to be willing to do so. Also, you have to look at the person that is telling you that you are saying or thinking, if they are saying that you are thinking or saying something wrong, you have to look at the person. What do I mean by look at the person? Is that person open or willing to hear you out? If they aren't, it is best to not say anything. I have spoke with people and they have disagreed with me. And I told them more why, you know, I am thinking this way and why I am going down this route. And even then, they still disagreed with me, which is fine. Everything was, we pretty much had a pleasant conversation. Like there were no arguments 
That person said, hey, Kevin, I think that blah, 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 blah. And I said to that person, well, I believe that blah, 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 blah. And there are or there were no fights, no arguments or anything like that. Everything was pleasant. Now, with other people, <laughs> Kevin, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I don't think it is, no, Kevin, blah, 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 not willing to hear you out or they carry this attitude like, hey, I am not trying to hear what you are saying. Listen. How can you be willing to correct but not be willing to be corrected? Even if you believe that you are right, how can you think about that? On this YouTube channel, I am telling people what the Bible says, whether you agree with it or not. So I am telling you what you need to do or change. So if I am telling you what to do, why wouldn't I be open to be corrected as well? That would be hypocritical. I am opening myself or I am telling you, you need to stop smoking. You need to stop having sex before a marriage. You need to stop doing all these crazy things. And then let's say that I am doing something wrong and someone comes to me, Kevin, what you are doing is wrong. No, I am not wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. Get out of my face. That is hypocritical. If you are willing to correct, you have to be open to be corrected. No one is above correction. My point is, you have to learn who to say something to and who to not say anything to. We have to understand, and I believe I say this often, we have to understand that People have been hurt in their past. People have a very bad day at work, so they want to, I guess you can say, explode on someone. You know, they can't really explode on, on like on their boss. So they are going to do it on you. People have gone through bad times in their life, people may be having a bad day. So you have to learn how to read that. Listen to what they are saying and judge everything by what the Bible says. Sometimes, like I said, a person may be having a bad day, for instance, there was this person at work um, at this job I was at in 2010 or 11, I forget. But when I was at that particular job, you know, there was this guy I would play around with. And this one day, you know, I came to him playing around and this guy got really mad at me, man. I, and I am like, what is going on? Like, I pretty much act this way toward you and you act this way toward me. But on this day or every so often, it's like, I don't know what is happening or what happened to him. So we have to keep that in mind. Some people are having a bad day. Some people have a flaw or flaws 
and their personality where they are more prone to be argumentative or sassy. And not everyone, well, let me stop here. <laughs> I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.